Hi, I'm Stuart Lynch. This is the second of six parts in a series covering version control using Xcode with Git. In this episode, we're going to take a look at creating our first local Git repository. We'll then make our first commits and see how we can revert back to a previous one. We'll also learn where those mysterious Git files are located. All of this done within Xcode. If you're interested in this, keep watching. If you'd like to follow along with me, and I strongly suggest you do, you can start by creating a new Xcode project. I'm going to create a new single view application. I'm also going to make it a Swift UI project. Don't worry if you've never looked at Swift UI yet. I'll keep the coding to a minimum, and even if you don't understand the Swift UI concepts, it really won't matter. We're going to focus on making changes to the code and committing those changes to a local Git repository at first. I'm hoping that you'll always check this box from now on when you're starting a new project. This will set you up for Git version control, but because you might not have done this in the past projects, and I'm not going to, for the last time, check this box here, I'll show you how you can create a repository within Xcode after the fact. This is going to be a simple project that has a button that when clicked on, presents a modal view. That's it. Using SwiftUI, I get to see the canvas on the right, so I never have to run the simulator. As I said, it's a simple SwiftUI project with a button that presents a modal view. I'm not going to go into detail about SwiftUI, so just follow along. In order to present a modal, we need a state variable that we can toggle to present the view. So we start off with at state private var is presented equals false. We can present this text view with a button that has a title show modal and the action will set the is presented variable to true. The modal sheet is presented through the modifier and what I'm going to do is present a new text view with the text this is a modal screen. You won't notice anything yet but I'm going to embed this button inside a navigation view. We can run this application in the canvas and see that the modal view is working. Remember, the whole point of this series is to learn about version control, and we have already forgotten to do that when we created the project, so it's no time like the present to start. Select Create Git Repositories from the Source Control menu, and click on Create. I'm going to pause the video here just so you see what's happening on the left. In an instance, all the files on the left are marked with an A or an M, and then, just as quickly as it happens, the markers disappear like this. We've just made our first commit at the same time as initializing our local repository. If I click on the source control navigator and expand the git project and the branches folder, we see we have a master branch which is marked as current. If I click on current, I see that we have an initial commit and if I tap on it, I see all of the files in my project. We'll keep coming back to this view. Let's switch back to the content view and add a navigation bar title like this. Note the blue line now beside the new entry. With version control, I can see immediately where I have made changes. If I click on the blue line, I can discard the change. Let's add it back again. Now this time, let's click on the code review or version editor button. We can see our current code on the left and the previous version on the right, with a number one in the gutter indicating that there is one change in this file. Click on the down arrow and it shows where the change happened and again allows you to discard the change here. So if you have multiple changes in a file, you'd be able to pick and choose which ones you want to discard or leave alone. Let's dismiss the version editor and add back the navigation bar title one last time. Let's add a new Swift UI file that we'll call modal view. The only thing we're going to do here is change this text to this is the modal view. Returning to the content view, I'll replace the text with the modal view so that when the button is tapped, 
it'll present the modal view we just created. Let's test and run it again. Note on the left now that the Git project and content view are marked with an M, and this means it's been modified since the last commit, the initial one, and the modal view with an A. This means it's been added since the last commit. It's time to commit these changes. And we do this by choosing Source Control Commit, and make sure that all files have a check in the checkbox. Before committing, you can check what it is that you're committing. For the modal view, there is no comparison, so the right half just shows that the file was added. The project file is a lot of gobbledygook that you'll just have to trust is correctly modified by Xcode. The content view shows you the detail of what has changed since the last commit. If you're happy with those changes and adds, you must enter comment and then click on commit. If we click on the source control navigator once more and then on the master branch, you now see two entries in the list, the initial commit and a recent one. And we can review what was done in the commit just as we saw before. Let's add a foreground color of red to our button. Now we could have made changes to multiple files and perhaps I want to go back to the last time I committed. Under the source control menu, we have two options. I can choose to discard all changes, which will revert all changes in all files, or I can choose to only discard changes in the current file. So let's do that, even though we haven't made any changes to any other files anyway. I'd copied this entire view before I discarded the change to my clipboard, so let me paste it back now to get our red button back. I'm happy with this new feature, so let's commit it. Let's tap on the version editor one more time. And I know I haven't made any changes, but watch this. Down at the bottom there's a little clock that when I tap on it, it shows all of my commits. I can choose to roll back to a previous commit right here like the one where we added the change from the text view to the modal view and added the red color. There are two changes. Or I can go back to the one where we changed the text view but hadn't added the color yet. Just one change. I can choose to discard it now and go back to our content view. Of course we see the blue marker and we can click on it and show what the change has been, so let's discard the last change which adds back the red button. Kind of a double negative here. The entire Git versioning system is hidden from view, but it is there, contained within your project folder. You just can't see it. So here's a trick for you. If you want to see hidden files on your Mac, you can just type command shift period. Now you see a .git folder in your project folder. You shouldn't mess with these, but if you want to remove the version control from your project, you can show the folder and delete it. However, let's just hide them again with the same command shift period. In the next video, we'll take a look at branching and merging. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That will encourage me to keep on creating more like this in an effort to help new and existing iOS developers hone their skills and move on to the next level. I am most active on Twitter, so be sure to follow me there and get all the latest news of what I'm up to.